shop is the perfect tool for retouching, but sometimes it can take a lot of work to do something simple. In this video, you'll learn easy tips and tricks to make your work easier and better, such as restoring blown out detail with the layer style, using the healing and clone tools on a separate layer, reducing haze using only one layer, painting in a blue sky quickly, and utilizing Photoshop actions to do things without even knowing how. Watch this video and you'll learn these five simple and useful photo retouching tricks. Your first step, restore blown out highlights and shadows. Have you ever made a brightness adjustment but find that it's overexposing the sky? Here's a solution that's fast and easy. First, brighten the image however you like, but don't worry about the overexposed areas. I'll just be using the brightness contrast adjustment for this. Next, right click on the layer and choose blending options. Near the bottom of the layer style window, hold the Alt or Option key and drag the white input slider towards the left. As you drag, you'll see that the highlights start to recover. You can also use this trick on other adjustment layers. For example, the contrast adjustment can make details in the dark areas disappear. To recover this, simply go back into the Layer Style window, then hold the Alt or Option key, and instead of the white input slider, drag the black input slider towards the right. You can also hold the Alt or Option key and drag the white input slider if you need to restore some details in the bright areas. And just like that, we recovered some details in the shadows, and it only took seconds. Here's how it looks with and without the blending option. Tip number two, use the healing and clone tools on a separate layer. Did you know that you can use the healing or clone tools on a separate layer? Nothing will happen if you try to heal a spot on an empty layer. However, check mark sample all layers in the options bar and you can now make things disappear on a separate layer. By doing this on a separate layer, you can always hide the layer if you want to undo or lower the opacity. Tip number three, reduce haze. Haze is an atmospheric phenomenon that shows up in many landscape photos. Trying to fix it manually can be a lot of work, but here's a quicker way that works with most photos. First, go into your adjustments panel and create a new levels adjustment layer. Next, you're going to apply the blue channel to the layer mask. The layer mask is automatically selected so you can just go to image, apply image. In the channels dropdown, Select the blue channel, then click OK. You now have the blue channel in your layer mask. Hold the Alt or Option key and click on the mask thumbnail. This will show you a preview of the mask. As you can see, the adjustments we make to this level's layer will appear mostly where the haze is. Double click back on the level's adjustment layer, then in the properties panel, drag the black and white input sliders towards the middle to increase the contrast, like this. You can also adjust the middle input slider to control the brightness. The colors might look a bit too vibrant, so to restore the original colors, simply change the blending mode to luminosity. And just like that, we've reduced the haze. To further tweak your results, select your layer mask, then press Ctrl or Command L to open the Levels tool and play around with the sliders. We're done. Here's the before and after results. Tip number four, paint in a blue sky. It's not always possible to take a picture with a blue sky. Thankfully, there's an easy way to turn these overexposed or overcast skies into something more appealing. To start, create a new layer. Select the brush tool, then pick a blue color, something like this. It doesn't have to be the perfect color because we will be tweaking it later. Using a soft round brush, paint over the sky. Next, right-click on the layer and choose Blending Options. Near the bottom of the window, drag the black input slider towards the right until the buildings covered by the blue sky starts to reappear. Once it starts reappearing, hold the Alt or Option key and drag the right half of the input slider all the way towards the right to soften the blend. Click OK to close the window. Reduce the opacity to make the blue sky blend in more. Keep in mind that you want your sky to look realistic, so try to keep your opacity around 50% or less. Finally, we will tweak the color with the Hue Saturation tool. 
Press Ctrl or Command U to open the tool, then play around with the hue and saturation setting to get a blue sky that matches your image. We're done. Here's how the image looks like before and after. Final tip, achieve more with Photoshop Actions. Photoshop Actions completely change the way people use Photoshop. These actions let you perform typically long and tedious retouching tasks easily in just one step. If you're not already using Photoshop Actions, then you have to try them out. There are many free and paid Photoshop Actions you can download. Check out the video description for links to these downloads. Most actions can be installed simply by double-clicking on the action file. The action will then appear in your actions panel. For absolute beginners, try out these instant hipster actions, which let you add Instagram effects with incredible accuracy. Simply play the action and let it run. Once it's done, you can pick the effect from the history panel. All of the effects look just like the real deal, but the best part is that they're adjustable. So if you're like me and find some of the Instagram effects too strong, you can fade it simply by lowering the opacity. Some actions let you add effects that you can't do yourself. Other actions can make your work easier. These skin retouching actions make retouching easy for everyone. Unlike the photo effect actions earlier, these act like tools, letting you retouch skin simply by playing the action and then painting over the areas you want to retouch. And just like that, we avoided the many steps it would usually take to airbrush skin. They don't replace the full traditional skin retouching process that can take hours, but they're great when you have many photos to retouch or if you just want to make your skin look better without learning how. There are many other Photoshop actions you can use, actions that can emulate traditional films. Add retro light leaks. Create a 3D diagram of your layers. Turn regular text into 3D text and more. Check out the video description for links to these free Photoshop actions and download some to try for yourself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us for more great Photoshop tutorials. Here are more video tutorials that you might enjoy. If you don't like to rely on Photoshop actions and want to learn how to retouch skin manually, then watch this video on how to retouch skin professionally. You'll learn techniques such as airbrushing, removing skin flaws, and dodging and burning. Want more easy to learn tutorials? Then watch this video to learn 5 easy photo effects that take less than a minute. Have you tried out the Perspective Warp tool? This video will show you what it does and 4 useful ways you can use it. Thank you for watching. Visit our website at www.photoshoptutorials.ws for more awesome Photoshop tips and tricks.